Greetings and welcome back to the For Health Scholars channel. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. My name is Dr. Robusa, and on this channel, I show current and aspiring healthcare management, administration, and public health professionals how to one, quickly and successfully earn their degrees, and two, how to start, build, and enjoy profitable careers within the business side of the healthcare industry. So definitely subscribe and definitely turn on your post notifications. I promise you don't want to miss out. Now, today is day six of a series that I'm calling Career Miss. And in this series, I'm reviewing some of the top or even emerging healthcare professions. And I find that in this series, the whole purpose of it is to just show the versatility of the healthcare industry, especially for new professionals entering the field. I wanna show you that you have so many different career options and it's all about just picking the right career option that is right for you. Now, today we're focusing on the profession of health informatics, and this is not a highly talked about profession, but it is very essential to the overall operations of the healthcare industry. And so if you are a healthcare professional, very much interested in healthcare tech, then this may be a role right for you. But before I jump into today's conversation, here's a few words from our sponsor. Greetings, health scholars. Today's episode is sponsored by my course, which is titled From Healthcare Graduate to Hired. Are you a professional looking to work in the healthcare industry? Or are you a current healthcare professional looking to pivot into a different sector of the healthcare industry? If you answered yes to one of the two questions I just asked, guess what? This course is right for you. In the For Healthcare Graduate to Hire course, it is a 90 minute video program. So yes, I kept it short and sweet, but I've loaded it with a lot of information, including give you a detailed strategy, as well as actionable steps for implementation that will help you go from healthcare graduate to job seeker to hire. In addition, I'm sharing my experiences of working in various healthcare positions, as well as the strategies I have given over 100 plus professionals that have helped them land their first, next, or even dream healthcare job. Now, what can you expect inside of this course? We're gonna talk about everything from preparing your job hunting strategy down to finding the right healthcare job for you. In addition, I'm giving away a few course bonuses, which includes access to an exclusive recruiter directory. So we're giving you the name and contact information to healthcare recruiters who you can work with to help land your next healthcare job. In addition, you're gonna get access to the For Health Scholars job board, as well as a live Q&A session with me Dr. Arobasa to answer any questions you may have. So I hope this sounds good to you. And if you are a job seeker who've been applying to healthcare jobs within the last six months without any response, guess what? This course is right for you. To sign up, you can access the link in the description box. And if you have questions, you can also contact me at forhealthscholars at gmail.com. I hope this is helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the course. All right, so I am back and I'm actually very live right now. So if you have questions, you can drop them in the chat box and I'll pull them up here on the screen. But it's so exciting to see those of you coming in. I am live, it's not pre-recorded today. So I'm super excited for today's conversation. And I see we have a question up, let me share it here. It is from Nurse Lita. She said, I was just thinking about going into this profession and now you're doing the video on it. Well, Nurse Lita, well, welcome to the channel. I definitely feel it's a profession that not many people talk about, but I'm going to talk about it in as much detail as I can tonight. But welcome to the channel, and I hope that it's helpful for you. All right. So as I stated, today's conversation is all about the topic of health informatics. Particularly, we're going to talk about a health informatics specialist. And I think this is a career option that is really viable for any professional in the healthcare space. Now, do know that technology has really shaped the way that we conduct business in the healthcare industry. Just take a moment to think about it. For those of you who are in healthcare, you know that we use technology for pretty much all parts of operations. We use EHR. EHR systems to manage our patient documentation. We use um, practice management softwares for the billing aspect of our practice. And we even use technology to solve some of the most complex healthcare problems that we see in the industry to date. So I really think that technology has afforded for many people to access the healthcare industry more easily. And it has also helped the healthcare industry become more efficient. Now, informatics. So 
in this role or in this industry, it is the section is called informatics. And under the informatics umbrella, you have health informatics, you have clinical informatics, you have pharmacy informatics. So I just want to make that distinction very clear. Now, in this case, in today's video, we're talking about health informatics. And health informatics is really a combination of computer science, um, information management, engineering, and healthcare. And they use the theories and practices that they learn from all of those different industries, computer science, information management, et cetera, to really help organizations understand how to use and improve, uh, how to use healthcare data, excuse me, to improve the quality of care. And so as a health informatics specialist, you're really geared to helping healthcare organizations understand how to acquire health data, how to use healthcare data, and how to share healthcare data in a way that it improves quality of care and how we deliver it to our patients, how we use healthcare data to track certain things like even just think about um, the different types of uh, infectious diseases that are impacting the population. As a health informatics specialist, you can show healthcare organizations how they can use the data that they're tracking, whether it's RSV, COVID-19, et cetera, and to improving the quality of care. So just think about that for just a moment. Now, as a health informatics specialist, you have several focus areas, and a lot of it requires distinct collaboration and communication with different departments within a given healthcare system. Particularly, your core role in this field is to gather and analyze health data. You may also be responsible for designing the workflows of the EHR interface that you're using within this facility. You can use the EHR to measure its impact in your facility. And also as a health informatics specialist, you can use it to educate and train end users. So end users are the individuals who log in to the EHR system to do their, all of their different roles. So you have providers, physicians, nurses, your front desk staff, medical receptionists, schedulers, et cetera. Those are your end users. And as the health informatics specialist, you can teach them how to use the system more efficiently to retrieve and obtain healthcare data in a way that once again is improving the the quality of care that's being delivered, the safety of care, and to minimize preventable errors. And for those of you in the field, you know that you do not want to found, be found guilty of engaging in errors. And if you do, you hope those errors can be minimized as much as possible. Of course, then managing tech systems. And a lot of your work is also about engaging with software developers to design a EHR system that it fits your practice and fits your organization. And so if you go from clinic to clinic, hospital to hospital, you may find that their EHR systems may come all from Epic, but they're designed differently. And those designs is really gain or really used to help an organization in its operations and how it conducts business. So hospital A may have their EHR system look one way and hospital B will have it a different way because of how they conduct business. So just keep those things in mind. Now, as a health informatics specialist, you have to be a great problem solver and a very active problem solver. In addition, having great communication skills and being abreast of the regulatory practices and protocols is key. And as a healthcare professional, we know that we're always keeping HIPAA at the back of our mind, patient privacy laws in the back of our mind. Nobody wants to be accused of violating HIPAA. So you have to keep those things in the forefront, especially as a health informatics specialist, because once again, you're showing healthcare organizations how to acquire health data, use health data, and share health data in the most regulatorily approved way as possible. Now, here are the different types of roles that you can work in under the informatics umbrella. And I think this is really important for an individual who is transitioning into this field, knowing the different types of positions that are housed under this umbrella. So of course, today we're talking about a healthcare informatics specialist, but you have clinic informatics specialists, you have pharmacy informatics. So like I said, individuals from different parts of the healthcare sector can transition into a role of informatics you have informatic nursing, you have health informatics analysts, public health informatics. So if you are a public health professional, this can be another role that you can pivot into. Now do note, 
healthcare information management and health informatics are not the same. And many people who do hear about healthcare informatics, they instantly group it with health information. They are two separate industries, but they may collaborate together to once again help the healthcare organization use health data in a meaningful way. Uh, Kung Fu Ken, I'm going to show him up here, says it's a huge difference. Absolutely. And I find that many people who are trying to pivot into the field, they're really wanting to be in a health information management role versus health informatics. So just knowing the difference is key. Now, health informatics specialist is a common entry level position. And so if you want to know how to position yourself into this industry, you can start off with being a specialist and then work your way up. And so today we're going to talk about the health informatics specialist job description. Now, for many informatics specialists or professionals, they enter this role with some healthcare experience under their belt. And it's very important because this is a role where healthcare organizations are really depending on you, your skill sets, and your knowledge of IT systems or health systems to allow them to better collect and use health data to improve the way they operate business. And the business most of the time is delivering patient care services. So it's very important for you to understand the terminology that is being used in healthcare, uh, what it means to collect healthcare data, what it means to have an EHR system. And so if they find that many informatics specialists, they have been working in the field before they transition in, into this tech position. Now, what is the position summary that's just often seen on the job descriptions of a health informatics specialist role? And so I'm gonna talk about them in detail. Of course, they want you to be able to review data. So analyzing data is very much a part of your role. You're also gonna be maybe in charge of collecting healthcare data. And that collection can come from providers. It can come from uh, patients. It can come from other staff members to understand how do we use this data to improve the quality of care. In addition, they may also want you to develop healthcare systems, uh, particularly on information systems or data systems in this organization, because once again, your core goal is to analyze data and show organizations in the healthcare space how to use this data meaningfully and prevent them being uh, caught up in malpractice cases or prevent medical errors from happening as much as we can. We know to err is human, right? We do know that, but we will try to minimize as many preventable medical errors as possible because even to date, preventable medical errors serves as the third leading cause of death in many healthcare, um, many Americans across the 50 states. So just keep that in mind. Okay, now what is the responsibilities of a typical health informatics specialist? Well, of course, they're analyzing data, but they're also collaborating with software developers to help improve the current electronic system that the organization is using. And sometimes when you're hired into this role, the facility may have a system that they're using and they're relying on you to help revise that system or to change the system. So you really have to be a problem solver. You have to be innovative of thinking in this role, even in just my experience with working with health informatics specialists and clinical informatics specialists, I find that through this partnership, they really came to the table with a, often solutions on how to solve some of the problems that we see when we're using a system like an electronic health record um, software, or they're helping us just how to prevent cyber attacks from happening within the organization. And so this is a role that requires you to always be on your toes. And it is a role that requires you to have a forward thinking and innovative skills to help other professionals in that organization be able to deliver care in a quality, safe and effective way. Now, as a health informatics specialist, you may also be responsible in improving network security, as I stated in my experience with working with informatics specialists. And you may have to also create reports talking about the things that you have done and what you're recommending this organization do to improve how they collect health data.
Now, some of the common skills that you need to have as a health informatics specialist includes programming knowledge. So if you are a person who's interested in technology and IT, but you want to be in the healthcare space, then this role may be right for you. Knowledge of healthcare digital systems, knowledge of health data systems, be having analytical skills, and of course, communication and collaboration creation skills is key because this is a role, although it's behind the scenes, many people are, many of your patients are not coming into the clinic asking for a health information or a health informatics specialist, but the role is very instrumental to the overall operations of healthcare. Since we have transitioned into this mandate of have using EHR systems. So you can check out the High Tech Act. It mandated that all organizations under the healthcare space use uh, EHR system to manage their overall operations. So this keeps this job in demand. Now the educational requirements, this is very important. So from the entry level, you can come in with an associate's degree, but honestly, many organizations want you to have a minimum of a bachelor's degree. Particularly, you can get a bachelor's degree in information management, or if you're working in a different field. So if you're working in healthcare management, um, administration, public health, but now you're looking to transition into IT, you can also use your um, formalized education to support you in meeting this criteria. If you get a master's in this field, it's usually used for individuals who are wanting to be in the management side of informatics. And so you would use your master's degree to allow you to be uh, lead the informatics department or whatever sector that you're in. Being an informatics analyst, you also may need a master's. Now, Informatics is open to many professionals. And so if you are a professional who has like medical assistant skills under your belt and you're like, I wanna do a nursing degree, but I may be into tech, then you can go into nursing informatics. But in order to work under that nursing informatics role, you have to have a nursing degree. Same thing for pharmacists. If you wanna be in the informatics space, they do work with pharmacies and pharmacies heavily use informatics specialists because once again, it's all about analyzing how data is collected in the healthcare space. You just have to make sure that you have the pharmacy degree to hold that position. But for those of you who do not have a nursing or pharmacy degree, public health professional, you can have a public health degree that helps you and allows you to meet that educational requirement for working as a public health informatics specialist. Now the salary, let's talk about the money because for many individuals it's like, okay, yes, I wanna enter this field, but what is the salary tiers? And so on average, we find that health informatics specialists at this entry level, it is a high paying profession and high paying job. So on average salary is about $86,000. If you have less than a year of experience, you can make about $65,000. But if you watch my video on salary negotiations, and you conduct a little bit of research on just salary tiers in this field, and you look at your experiences, your interests, and how to negotiate effectively once you get past the interviewing stage and been offered the job, you can really negotiate to earn top dollar. Like I said, this is a high earning uh, role, and so the average is 86000 And noting that for many individuals who get into the informatics space, they already have some healthcare experience under their belt. So use all of those things to your advantage to be able to negotiate to the salary that you desire. But from, I got this information from payscale.com. They said, if you have about 10 plus years of experience in the field, you can make well into the six figures. So once again, this is a tech role, it's a high earning tech role. And if you have at least one year of experience in the field under the healthcare umbrella and you meet the some of the other educational requirements and experience requirements and good at managing data, then this role can be really good for you. Now, here are the types of organizations that hire health informatics specialists. So, of course, hospitals and outpatient facilities, but pharmacies, they do hire health information I mean, health informatics specialists, they may also hire pharmacy informatics specialists, public health agencies, and of course, IT consultancy firms, just to name a few. There's probably other organizations, but these were the ones that came to my mind. 
Now, you may be wondering, is this role right for you, becoming a health informatics specialist? And I would tell you, you know this role will be right for you if you simply have great problem-solving skills, you're analytical, you have IT knowledge, and you have great communication skills, or you can learn how to be a great problem-solver, be analytical, and et cetera. They really have you in order to work for this role, you have to have a desire and a want to sit there and look at how health data is being collected. And once again, how healthcare organizations use this data to prevent uh, medical errors from occurring and to deliver quality, safe, and effective patient care services. So that is all that I have for today's video. Video. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining in. I'll wait on, I see a few of you are on. Does anybody have any questions that they would like to ask me while I'm on live? I'm more than happy to answer it and I'll pull it up here on the screen. But I really hope this was helpful to each and every one of you. And um, you can always leave questions if you're watching the replay of this in the this, um, comment section, and I'll do make sure to ask those questions. All right, so I don't see any questions. So once again, thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this with somebody who you know will find this helpful. And until next time, bye for now. Oh, okay. I'm back real quick. So I see someone asked a question. <laughs> I was getting ready to exit out. Um, um, is clinical experience required? So if you're going into the health informatics space, you don't need clinical experience. You just need healthcare experience. Now, if you're going into a nursing informatics space or pharmacy informatics space, that's where the clinical component comes into play. You may need some clinical experience or even being a clinical informatics specialist, which most of the times when you look at the job description, they're indicating they want a clinical informatics specialist and you have to have a nursing degree or some type of clinical degree like a pharmacy degree or even an MD degree. So health informatics is different than clinical informatics. They do work together from time to time, but to be a health informatics specialist to answer your question, Kung Fu Ken, the answer is no, but you should have healthcare experience. I hope that helps. Okay, I see someone else. Okay, Alita says there's a question. So I'll stay on a little bit um, for any questions that you may have. I see there's a few people watching. So once again, thank you for joining. Um, I, I may come on more in live more often since I see a lot of people are joining in. So uh, I may do this again live. <laughs> um, Thank you so much. Okay, no problem, Ken. All right, anybody else? Any questions? Okay, I don't see anything in the queue, but once again, if you have questions, you can always drop them in the comment section and I will make sure to answer your questions there. Once again, thank you for watching and bye for now.